Okay, so yellow attacks. They're a tool that makes you invincible. Oh, I have to say, it's not invincible, but they give you armor, and you can, you know, armor through attacks. They are used to extend combos a lot, and that's basically all they do in this game. They're not really that interesting, and, which is what I kind of really hate about them. So, um, what would I change about yellow attacks? So the real reason I'm changing yellow attacks is because I really don't like how the stagger system works in this game. So after um, Ida blocks, he's going to do a dodge, right? Yeah. So as you know, Mirio has a gap in between his first and second hit of his combo stream. And what I would change about yellow attacks is make them so every yellow attack is a move that has complete tracking. It completely tracks on any um, any sidestep the opponent di decides to do. So if I read and make the prediction that my opponent it is going to do a sidestep in my attacks, if I do a, a yellow attack, I punish them, and I get a combo for doing that. Um, and that just doesn't really work, because like with Mirios, it like doesn't reach far enough, and then the, they can block the second hit, or sometimes both parts completely miss, and then you're just like left sitting there like an idiot getting punished for days because you want to, you know, decide to make a read. Okay, it's not happening right now, but a lot of the time both hits just completely miss for no reason. And you get punished for it. So what I would make change about um, yellow attacks. And you can tell that that's actually what they were trying to do. Like, you can tell that the developers were trying to make yellow attacks beat sidesteps, but they just don't. So, like, most characters they either completely don't work, or just are super inconsistent, kind of like mirrors. Like, sometimes it might punish, but a lot of the time, the second tip, yeah, like that, it'll just whiff, or it just doesn't even come out fast enough to punish the, um, the sidestep, or, and it doesn't travel fast and, uh, far enough for the first part to hit. So what I would change about yellow attacks is have it so everyone's yellow attack has complete tracking, so it, it can beat sidesteps. So if this opponent sidesteps in your combo, you can beat them, by doing your yellow attack. Is that an overpower change? I don't know. I feel like that would make it fair. And it also just make it a lot more interesting. Because a lot of the time, whenever you're pressing buttons, your opponent is just mashing the sidestep button just to get out of there. But now they have to think about it a little bit. Because if they do, um, because if they just do a sidestep too predictably, and then you punish them for it, and you get a full combo, and they're getting hit for a <laughs> full combo, you know, they're getting punished for doing the wrong thing. So yeah. But I would also nerf yellow attacks, because I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh, if you make them even better, people are just going to be spamming yellow attacks all the time if they have complete tracking, and people are going to be doing them, like, constantly, like... But what I would change about yellow attacks, and something that I really don't like about this game, is that there is literally no such thing as an unsafe move in this game. Like, okay, maybe there are a few, but the concept of an unsafe move, like, barely exists in this game, and I really don't like that. So... As you can see here, I'm holding the block button, and there's a lot of recovery on this yellow attack, so they can punish me. There's a lot of time where they can press buttons after I do that, and they can punish it. Um, in an ideal game, that's how it would be. But in this game, you can cancel, like, anything into anything, so there's, no, like, no risk to doing my yellow attack, because I can cancel it, like, dash cancel it into buttons. Like, that's really fast. I can put my yellow attack into other buttons. And then it, like, I can go in for more pressure, and do all sorts of crazy things. Just cause, like, even though, like, these are supposed to be unsafe. And I know some of you smart bugs are probably thinking, like, oh, even though, like, you do a dash cancel into buttons after a yellow attack, there is a gap there that you can press buttons, a sidestep. But you can make them completely safe. Oops. By doing that, by doing a sidestep into a block, you've completely made your yellow attack safe. So like, what's the point in even making anything punishable in this game if you're never gonna punish them? I don't think I've ever punished a yellow attack in this game because everyone knows they're punishable. You're not just gonna do a yellow attack and then not cancel it into other buttons. Like, they're just not punishable. Where are you ever gonna punish these? It's so stupid. So what I would change about yellow attacks is not only are they really good now because they track things really well, but I'm making them bad. You cannot cancel them on block. You just have to accept your punish and get hit by the punish for making the wrong read and just doing a YOLO yellow attack. I feel like that's fair. Let me know your opinions down below. So yeah, great tracking, but they're also completely punishable. And I, I like the idea of being able to punish things finally in this game. But it's also good that you can finally like have something to counter 
sidesteps, which is something I was talking about in a different video, which are extremely, like, almost overpowered tools, and now there's something you can actually do against them. So yeah, that's my changes I would make to yellow attacks. Uh, let me know of your opinions in the comments. Bye.